This one's for Gemini, Virgo, Sag, and Pisces. In astrology, mutable signs mark the end of a season. They're adaptable, transformational, and a little rebellious. Where the queens initiate, the kings shift. They carry us across thresholds, shaping what comes next. The king of spades represents Gemini, the mutable air sign that ends spring. Gemini is curious, clever, and always thinking ahead. Spades align with tarot swords, signaling intellect and communication. This king features a celestial hand in a falconry glove, summoning a hawk to land. I base the hawk on a symbol from one of Peridon's devises, Gemini is the only card to get two sentient entities. Here they work together in an exchange of trust, precision, and partnership. Next is the King of Diamonds, Virgo, the mutable earth sign ending summer. Virgo brings a meticulous and thoughtful energy. Diamonds reflect the material world like tarot's pentacles. Here a celestial hand picks grapes to become wine. It's a gesture of care and foresight. The wine harvest is a late summer labor essential for the colder months ahead. Virgo prepares, never just for today, but for tomorrow too. Then comes the king of clubs, Sagittarius, the mutable fire sign closing out fall. Sagittarius is known for its boldness and love of the wild. Clubs mirror tarot's wands, signaling movement and drive. This king tosses acorns from a basket. Acorns gathered in November were given to pigs to prepare them for slaughter. Brutal but essential work to keep the people fed through winter. We're focusing on just the acorns here for Sag's generous, expansive spirit. Finally, the king of hearts, Pisces, the mutable water sign ending winter. Pisces is sensitive, spiritual, and attuned to what's beneath the surface. Hearts align with tarot's cups, evoking emotion and intuition. This king holds crossed branches, borrowed from one of Peridon's emblems. These are the twigs collected to fuel the final stretch of winter. This act of community and warmth is also one of imagination in bringing the outside in. That wraps up the court illustrations. The next episode, we'll be making some final tweaks to the card faces, and in the meantime, you can pre-order the deck on my site.